for $59.99. Is this case truly worth it? What has my experience been like so far? And should you buy it? So guys, after having the Apple leather case for about six months, I've come to a few conclusions, both good and bad. And I want to go over that today in a video for you guys right now. I wanted to personally welcome you to the channel today. My name is Justin and I'm here on behalf of The Digital Life. And The Digital Life is here to bring you guys the best reviews, thoughts on tech and how-to tutorials based all around technology. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Stay tuned for more. So the first conclusion I came to with the Apple leather case is that the case feels great in your hand. There is no getting around this. It is a leather case, it feels premium, and it feels like you're holding a sofa throughout the day. It looks really good due to this premium leather look. And I think for most audiences, if you're looking for that, for the high price tag, it's gonna fit your budget and it's also gonna make you happy and meet your expectations. It does have MagSafe going for it. What this means, in my opinion, is that if you are somebody who is a MagSafe fan and you like the features that come with it, that's also what you're paying for in the price tag. MagSafe comes with a uh, an array of different accessories that allow you to basically customize your phone for both looks and for features, allowing you to connect it to car mounts, wireless chargers, things like that. So if you're into that and that's what you're looking for in a phone case, then the Apple leather case is gonna do the do job and it's gonna do it very well. The saddle brown look looks really good and over time, your oils on your hand are actually gonna come and make the case more vintage looking. So if you're looking for that look, you're gonna be all set. The case does have all the accessible ports needed for your phone. So thinking about your phone and compatibility with the iPhone 12 and Apple leather case is not an issue. Apple made this case, so they definitely made it in realm of fitting really well and working extremely well with the iPhone 12. So what I did not like, guys, to conclude this video, and I wanted to get to the point really quick for you guys today, is that the Apple leather case is not very protective. So at the end of the day, what you're buying is you're buying an Apple logo, you're buying a leather case, and you're buying a case that fits your phone just fine, and it looks terrific. But what you're not buying is you're not buying protection. Now, a lot of people say to themselves, well, maybe, you know, I buy this really fancy Kate Spade case or whatever it is, and it's not super protective, but it looks good. And that's totally fine. But the thing I wanted to make clear in this video to, to help you guys understand what you're paying for is that this is just not a very protective case. When you first put the phone into the case, you're going to notice that it's not exactly a super tight fit. What I mean by this is that the phone kind of just slides into the case and it's not a tight fit. So I just don't think that it's a very protective case. I've dropped the phone a few times while being in this case and I've actually noticed that there's been some scuffs and some other blemishes that make the case look not very premium. And for the time I've had the phone, I think this is a big red flag. So overall guys, if you guys are looking at buying the Apple leather case, saddle brown, whatever it's gonna be, whatever color, the one thing I would definitely consider is what you're buying the case for. And if you're somebody who's buying the case for looks and you wanna have it be, pair it with your watch, you, maybe you have a Rolex, maybe you have a super nice watch and you wanna pair it with that, and you just wanna have that kind of classy, elegant look, then this case is for you guys. But if you're somebody who's conscientious about your phone and you drop your phone a lot and you really want the most protective, I would suggest going to another case. I do have a, I will be releasing a case short, uh, case comparison shortly on comparing this case to the Evo Check by Tech 21, in which you will find out which one is the better choice. I will put the link into for this, for that case, in for that video in this video. So go ahead and click that. This is Justin with the Digital Life. See you next time.